Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit about ghost boarding and using a ghost board. So first you need to open the board you want to work on, which in this case it will be the 6.3. You open up your board, take a look at it, and you decide that you want to make some comparisons to another board. Superimpose a board on this board. So you go to ghost board and you open up that board. For this exercise, let's choose this 6.6, which will be pretty similar. As you can see, this is your ghost board. You can show hide your ghost board up here. And you can move the ghost board by pushing G and then the arrow keys. So, for example, if you want to compare the nose, you can do that. Um, you probably also notice that as you push G, the ghost board points light up. So if you were going to do a comparison of the points that you have on the ghost board, you can do it that way. And ghost board can also go up and down. In slices, you need to hit the G key. So normally the space bar will move you between slices or the tab key on the board that you're working on. With the G key, you can hit, hold down G and hit the space bar and you will see the ghost board. So this is what you're looking at here. This slice is the ghost board right here. So I'm going to take both. So now I'm highlighting the middle slice along with and the ghost slice. So you can see this slight difference between these two, these two slices. In this case, there's a bit of a difference between the nose slices on this one. And it follows suit similarly for the top and bottom profiles. It shows you where all the points are lined up. So that's pretty much using a ghost board.